Uh, this is not a startup home. Anybody looking at this technology knows when you add 150,000 in technology into your house, um, there has to be some sort of return or there has to be a decrease somewhere else to make this thing um, market viable. Right? So the other thing the students wanted to do was to keep this source as much in Michigan as possible. Uh, we've run into a whole series of little issues doing that. It's amazing how global companies have got. Uh, we can find headquarters in Michigan, but you'll find that maybe we can even source the, the basic material out of Michigan. But often it goes to California for processing, and it goes to Alabama for packaging, and it comes back to Michigan. So once you start adding all the, all the embedded energy into it, we find that the, what they're looking at is materials that look uh, very good on the surface, start to add up um, with the effect the multiple and the ripple effect of, of all that transportation, and obviously the carbon footprint. Um, so we have, uh, we have the students doing a lot of research both into materials that are on the market, into the technology, and this really comes to be a project which is less about the particular pieces, but really about how everything works together. Um, there's an incredible uh, building effect as the, uh, as the solar system start to interface with the mechanical systems. So at the moment, um, I'll invite everybody to go out. If you take a look in the parking lot as you move um, out of this building, if you go to the back, the large parking lot, there's a very large white tent in the back corner with a whole bunch of people in hard hats walking around. That's, uh, most of those are students. We've been really fortunate uh, in the final phase of the construction of this project to have the Michigan Council of Carpenters and Millwrights step up almost as a, a partner in the construction and they have provided on-site professional supervision um, because one of the things that I think is critical to start to realize that so much as we move forward in sustainability and we're looking at energy decrease, it's all in the details. It's all about how things to go together and that little bit of knowledge is absolutely critical. So um, how a cock line gets laid down, where, this, where the, uh, the air seals are is the most important part of the assembly. We, uh, we needed people who actually had the know-how to come on, because we're a university, we're great with theory and practice. Um, they're dubbing our partnership, theory and practice meets reality. So you can understand uh, as we get out there and we have students going, well, you know, we've drawn this, we know this is supposed to work, and you've got somebody else going like, there's no way that's going together. <laughs> um, it has been a really great learning experience for, for everybody on the team, uh, but I think more than that, We've got a potential to both highlight what we can do as a university and what Michigan can do as a state. Uh, all these things just came together in this project. For, uh, we're extremely excited about it. Oh, I'd like to thank everybody very much. <laughs>